You did great. Fine. <laughs> I'm looking at the camera. I mean, you can do it that way if you want. I'm not quite nice. Yeah. How you been, man? Good. Sweet. Songwriter. Hanging. Hanging you out last night? Yep. I was out with uh, Home Shake. And we got really drunk. I'm still recovering. I nearly missed it. I nearly missed this. But I've got good friends and I've got a loud bell at my door. It's so loud. So what does it mean for a songwriter of the year for a grime artist? Is that the first time that's happened? It's so mad, isn't it? It's so crazy. It's good, man. It's good because I somewhere so, it's like somewhere inside me I didn't think I was this level, and somewhere inside me I always thought when I write, I'm I'm touching I'm touching something. I'm touching this like I'm touching this this emotion, this selfless, objective emotion that I know I write well. I know I write well, but I couldn't, you know, I couldn't see it. But you know, it's weird that things like this, you know, make you feel like that. But yeah, song not just like album of the year, song of the year, songwriter of the year. Thank you very much to the Ivers, Bascar, PRS. Thank you so much. And boy, but I know headlining Glastonbury. Jeez, yeah, we're headlining Glastonbury. We've got the festival coming soon. We're taking over O2 Arena. That's gonna be my. Was that 27th? Don't worry, August sometime. August sometime, we're taking over the O2 Arena. It's going to be football, skating, wow, uh, raves, um, gaming, Call of Duty. Oops, um, can't say what games are at the moment. Yeah, but it's getting very, it's, getting, it's going to be a sick day. A big um, day for all the supporters and fans that's supported for years and years. And um, just going to keep, just going to keep pushing that, you know. That freeness and understanding that it's your world, really. But Grime headliner at Glastonbury, that's history, man. What are you going to do to like push it? We just got to keep push. We do that is all we can do. Like boy, better know. Like we're, it's like, man. Yeah, it's like. I think it's going to be when we die, people understand that we were just like seven guys that was just like trying to have a fu have fun. You know what I'm saying? Trying to set up a party everywhere we went. If I could set up decks in there now and make everyone stop taking pictures, I would. Go on. Can you set up decks in there? Yeah, just I what I'm saying. Well, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, because that is all life is really about, you know, setting up the party, talking to people like-minded and keeping it, making something happen and keeping it moving, you know. So, um, yeah, Glastonbury, uh, wow, it's all of it. We're doing all of it this year, man. It's good times. Thanks to supporters mostly. Thanks to the supporters. Jay Huss's album's out now. The whole of the UK is doing amazing. Like, I don't know what to say, this is a dream. This is my, this is better than my dreams. And have you started on the next album? No, I haven't started on the next album at the moment, but what I've been doing is working on how, how I'm gonna do good for what's happening on Earth at the moment. Every, at every stage of my life, I've always wanted to do good for Earth. When I was a kid, I was stopping bullies. I used to get so angry, I see people bullying, I'd be like, stop doing that to him. Then you get to, you get to like 16, music, innit? Music, of course, little, little energetic little guy on stage, change, stop the fuckery, stop the fuckery. Then you get to, I feel like at my age now, I feel like it's Jay Huss's time, you know, all the young artists' time to be on the stage enjoying themselves. And I'm just trying to find, I'm not saying I want to stop music, but I want to find at this age how I can stop the fuckery again. And I'll be stopping the fuckery until I die. And um, I feel that's what Boy Better and I want to do. Speaking of the devils, Satin Boys. Jay.